What is going on, guys? It is Power Bang coming to you live from my hotel room in Finland. We are actually getting ready to go to sleep right now. It is freaking late. Uh, I have to be up, I don't even know when, but probably like three hours from now. Jet lagged all the hell. Um, had a couple of special things I wanted to announce. I'm in Finland for a live stream, actually two live streams. So wanted to kind of let you guys know where I've been. At first, I got sick. You, know, you guys saw my eyes in my last video. I uh, got really sick, so I apologize for the lack of videos uh, being uploaded this week. It really kicked my butt. And then I flew out. So here we are. We're in Finland. Well, why am I here? Look at that right there. Dark Looters versus Reddit Omega. Super pumped to be able to announce that as well as also um, be privileged enough to host two clans of that caliber uh, at a live stream. So that'll be super fun. You guys can check that out uh, this weekend. The information for when that's going down will be in the description. That way you guys can go watch it. I know it will be broadcast on Clash of Clans' Twitch, YouTube, and probably their Facebook accounts. Basically anywhere you can find them in social media, um, that is where it's going to be. So I know the notice is uh, kind of late. That just seems to be how they like to do things around here. I would have preferred to have gotten this a little bit more hyped up sooner. But hey, now that we're talking about it it's going down this weekend reddit omegas reddit omegas and the dark ludiga yeah i don't know uh <laughs> dark looters reddit omega uh going down this weekend in addition to that i've got a uh, a little war here and and granted stay trippy just wasn't able to hang apparently uh we we tried to have them hang it just didn't happen but anyways what that means is whf is going to get their um, 200th war victory today. That is awesome. Congratulations to the guys. And for those of you that don't know, I, I know that's a relatively low amount. We're a relatively new war clan compared to those that have been established in the community a long time. So definitely not in the realm of getting like 400 rent wins or anything like that. But we were going uh, for a pretty nice little war here. We three-starred quite a bit. Looks like we had a little bit of uh, a letdown in the middle, but only four Town Hall 9s on the other side here. So uh, very interesting. 98% on that one by Tisdale. 85 by Tisdale. 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 And then a uh, Vince Munoz picking up 77, which is a 90, a town all nine hitting up. So awesome work. Let's go ahead and look at a couple of attacks and see uh, what we can find here that might be any good. Miro had a sweet attack this week in uh, the CWL. Let's go ahead and watch. This is a very common base, so who knows? This might help uh, a few of you out. Let's go ahead and check out just a couple of raids in this uh, video, and then I'm going to get some sleep, and I'll bring back a, uh, a cooler video for you tomorrow, but definitely want to get the word out about why I haven't been uploading, where I've been, what I'm doing, and what's upcoming that you guys can look forward to. Super pumped about it, and uh, I know that uh, all the folks are here to hung out with all the guys and gals from Reddit Omega and Dark Looters tonight, and a uh, great group of people. Can't wait to see what they can bring on Battle Day. That'll definitely be exciting. So Miro here, bringing in that Queen Charge, Queen Walk from the upper portion of this base, just taking out the air defense as a top priority. Then he's got a little bit of freedom as far as what he, uh, you know, can do with this one. He gets one archer out of the CC. We'll see if the, the queen's going to... How does the archer target the queen and not the healers there? Kind of funny. Um, mine always seem to retarget if the healers drag behind like that. But anyways, golems in uh, from the left side here. Wall breakers to get them uh, into the base. Wizards have done a great job funneling. And then the queen and bowlers are just going to meet up here and head into this base. It looks like if the queen takes out that archer tower... Bowlers could walk here if they... Uh, yeah, they're starting to stray a little bit. Uh, the mortar goes down. We'll see if the uh, the bowlers are going to head around. Just one, and that one is not quite able to get that last rock off uh, to take out that cannon. The cannon's able to do some work. Get another bowler taken care of. Looks like we've got a uh, dragon being taken out out of the clan castle. Hogs in from the south, taking that out. And then we've got the queen, king, and the core. And still two heal spells left for those hogs to get around this base. Very nice work. Queen's going to head over any moment here. Uh, the hogs are starting to get roasted a little bit. And uh, they're going to get to the Inferno Tower. Wow. No bombs at all. I mean, just... Lovely base design. Gotta love these cool-looking Ninja Star bases because they work really good, guys. They definitely do. Um, hogs all over the place, though. Queen is finishing up up top. And, then, man, that's so many Hog Riders left on a Town Hall 10 base. 
So awesome job there to Miro. He's got cleanup on both edges of the trash ring. He's going to get it done no problem for three. Nice work. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at one more. Let's look at Cole here. This is a new guy that we just brought up. Um, found him in our recruiting process. So definitely uh, glad to have him up here. I see that this is a very low level 10, and he's just going to penta this. I mean, you guys see these symmetrical style bases. Um, look at the, you know, the strategy here. He literally just sent in penta, no lure. He's just like, whatever, dude, bring it. Two, multi or two single target infernos right next to each other. And he's able to just take this thing down, no problem at all. So in we go. Look at the uh, air defense levels too. Not high to say the least. And this guy is number eight in their lineup. So these types of bases went all the way down to the bottom, which I was a little worried at first because you never know. Like we had, I want to say 16 to 17 Town Hall 9s in this matchup, and they had four. So it was one of those things where it's like it could have gone really wrong if they were active and like halfway decent, but... It ended up that we we didn't need to stay trippy like they have to they have to work on staying trippy apparently uh, so yeah in we go we the loons are easily taking care of the infernos awesome work on that final uh, obstacle here really is the eagle as the uh, lava hound is going to take the brunt of the damage there the final air defense is taken out and here is that eagle pop he, oh we're off the hound now the hound has popped so let's see where the eagle lands. And it is right on those balloons. Holy cow, they get absolutely smoked. But the good thing is, look at the health bar. Only one uh, bolt, one rock, one rocket, one nuke shot off. And it just comes down on the king out in the middle of nowhere. So he essentially swags both heroes here, just uses them for cleanup at the end. Cole getting it done for the three-star. Nice work, dude, on that raid. That is amazing. All right, guys, I'm going to head out for tonight. Remember, this weekend, check the description. I've got a live stream. I will be hosting it with Galadon, and it is going to be a pretty sweet little live stream, I think. We're talking two of the best clans in the world, Dark Looters, Red and Omega, going head-to-head -head in a 5v5. No funny rules this time. Uh, they're just going to... You know, showcase some skill, and we'll see what we see. We'll see what they got. Anyways, guys, thank you for your support and patience while I've been sick and dying and whatnot. But I will be back in the near future. This is Power Bang, and I will catch you guys hopefully tomorrow. Take care.